we are going to read through Google reviews. Now, the reviews are reviews from Niagara Falls. We're going with a tourist attraction here today, okay? So, Tor, how do I do this? Oh, I clicked. Google reviews. Niagara Falls. <laughs> I feel like I'm in an office. The Niagara Falls Skywheel. If you've ever been to Niagara Falls or you've even seen Niagara Falls, you know this fucking thing. It's like the one thing you see aside from the big ass tower that apparently there's a restaurant in. I've never been in it. I have been on the sky wheel though. What possibly could you say about the sky wheel? Look at this. It's like a fucking staple, right? I think I need to be a little bit smaller. It's like a fucking staple in Niagara. You guys would recognize this right away. And this was made by one person. The sky wheel was made by one person, Craig. Is that, is that true? <laughs> Oh, here we go. We get a little in-depth. We get a little in-depth description. Niagara Skywheel is 175 foot, 53.3 meter tall Ferris wheel in the middle of Clifton Hill, Niagara Falls, Ontario, Canada. Niagara Skywheel is a Ronald Bussink professional rides designed by R60 Giant. Manufactured by Chance Rides. It's a pride by Chance Morgan. It opened the 17th of June, 2006. Cost of $10, $10 million for this fucking thing. Swiss manufacturer, fully enclosed passenger cars, nine people. A ride is approximately 12 to 15 minutes long. Give passengers a thing. Blah, blah, blah. Okay. Porsche present, and it's open all year. It's open all year, even in the winter time. Actually, kind of crazy. Here's the review. <laughs> Sorry, this, <laughs> this is so stupid in, in the best way. All right. Okay. What does Dino Alpha Dog have to say? Two stars. It's a large wheel. Beautiful scene at the top. Thank you, Alpha Dog Dino, for taking your time to post this very important review that we definitely couldn't have figured out by looking at the pictures. Thank you, Dino Alpha Dog. <laughs> what the fuck? I'm so glad he told me that too, Lishi. I I don't know what I would have done without that information, you know? Hold on, is this supposed to have the falls behind it as well? No, it didn't. Oh, it did. We just got blue screen. That's fine. Yeah. Why is that two star beautiful at top rates? That's what I'm saying too, right? Like, what is the point of this? Well, you rated it two stars, but you said two nice things about it. So did you need at least five nice things to happen in order to give the five stars? What's the negative here? I feel like this might be a mistake. I've learned everything I need to know from that review. That's what I'm saying, too. Who's nice? Oh, Renee. Also two stars. Ew. Smells like stale beer farts and my pastor's breath. Okay. <laughs> okay. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. First of all. You're very close to your pastor, okay? That's absolutely disgusting. Now, stale beer farts in Niagara Falls at a tourist attraction. I I can see it. I can absolutely see it. Pastor's breath is something else. Two stars still, which you know what? That sounds more like a two-star review than Alpha Dog up there, to be honest. Yeah, what a specific smell. And yeah, Cora, there's a, there's a lot to unpack here. I mean... I don't know. I don't know. To each their own, I suppose. Not enough sexy time at the top, apparently, right? My pastor's breath is awkwardly specific. Yeah, like, I just... Ugh. Were they riding the wheel with the pastor? <laughs> I mean, you are pretty close in there. It's possible. Oh, my God. Okay. Two stars from Spencer here. No social distancing in the lineup. I had to smoke cigarettes to keep the boomers away. If anything, I okay, so I feel like this is obviously a joke review. I do love the selfie with it. I think it's funny. But if anything, I feel like smoking the cigarettes might keep a lot of the boomers around, no? Like boomers back in their day, it was cool to smoke cigarettes, you know? I, I, that's at least what I think. I, I don't know. I, it, it was cool back then, you know? The glasses suit his face. <laughs> yeah, they do. <laughs> Holy shit, eh? How did they get my face? <laughs> Craig, you look nothing like this. <laughs> Craig, you look nothing like this. <laughs> Holy shit. All right. Okay, we got we got another slide. Let's go. This is Buds. This is new to me too, okay? Tori made this and found this for me. Just because I feel like I want to be genuine in what I see here, you know? No social distancing in line. How long do you want it to be? Yeah, right, dude? Like, if you imagine if you spaced out that line. All across the fall. Bro, this would be insane. People be all the way down at Clifton Hill. Oh, sorry. I guess that is all the way down at the falls. Who's this? Ben P. One star 10 months ago. 
The wheel is an eyesore and distracts from the experience staying at the nearby Sheridan. Flashing lights until midnight on a Monday? Turn the lights off and conserve some energy. <laughs> All right. I already fucking hate Ben. The big time. I can, I, you can tell Ben's left six reviews. I'm actually really curious. I wish I could click this and see the other six. What? <laughs> Sounds like my spirit animal. <laughs> Now, man, I feel like you wouldn't even say this shit. You know, I feel like you wouldn't even say this shit, dude. How an eyesore. It's a fucking Ferris wheel, dude. And the curtains they have there, you can close. Also, on uh, Monday, bro. I mean, it's. How old do you guys think Ben is? I hope that asset doesn't go to Vegas. Could you imagine, dude? Oh, my God. That was a boomer. The Sheridan, is that true actually, Mike? Is the Sheridan not close to the wheel? Boss, I wanna, I'm actually curious. You might be right, you might be right. Imagine if they don't even have a view. Okay, so we got, dude, look it. You've got the Sheridan over here. Okay, so hold on, it is, it is kind of close. Sheridan and Skywheel, it is kind of close. But also, on a map, like, that's really not that close, dude. I mean, eh, yeah, it kind of is. It kind of is. But still. You know what? Fuck this guy anyway. Still, it's a Ferris wheel, bro. Do you not like fun? But the lights, dude. How am I supposed to sleep on a Monday in Niagara Falls? Ignasi, one star. Built to destroy the beauty of the place. Yes. The beauty that is Niagara Falls. Okay. Where it's literally just the falls are beautiful this this actually well lit up nice ferris wheel destroys the beauty of the fucking trash littered beer fart smelling pastor breath reek in niagara falls okay yeah right let's the beauty of clifton hill if you've been to clifton hill the ferris wheel ain't what's ruining it okay you know <laughs> i came to niagara falls to not have fun no, not at all. I came to not have fun. I came for a miserable time. Dude. Wait, wheel goes up, falls go down. <laughs> Judd Hivir, one star. Not an adventure like Wonderland. And actually, we have a reply here from the Niagara Skywheel themselves. We appreciate all your feedback and hope you enjoyed the rest of your visit to Niagara. Bro <laughs> I didn't realize the Skywheel was the hub of Niagara. Like, that they have to speak on behalf of Niagara Falls. <laughs> and, like, we appreciate all feedback. Bro, like, what? How are you going to change the wheel? <laughs> like, can, if it's not like Wonderland, go to Wonderland. Yeah, go to Wonderland and pay $80 to stand in line for six hours and go on, like, three rides in your entire day. Go there and do that. Buy a $15 funnel cake. Have yourself a time. You know? Bro, you could go on. I'm pretty sure the wheel doesn't cost that much money to go on. I never knew people would hate a Ferris wheel, to be honest. It's a Ferris wheel, bro. Like, people hate it enough to go on Google to review it, is what I'm saying. Like, I understand people don't like Ferris wheels or going on them, but you're not going to go on Google and be like, I fucking, I hate bright lights and nice things, you know? <laughs> Alea, what's up, bud? It's not the fucking great Canadian mind buster. <laughs> Yo, there's still more reviews of the Skywheel tour. How many slides are the Skywheel? People are crazy. Hey, what's this? Oh my God, we got a novel here from Simran. One star. Mark was very unprofessional. We were a group of adults with adult tickets and one child under 12 with a child ticket. Mark accused us of lying about the child and told us to show her ID to prove she was 12. When we told him that she is under 12, he asked us for her ID. We told him since she is 12, she does not have any IDs on her as she is under age. Mark's reply to that was, sucks. This was very unprofessional, and he came to us yelling instead of asking us politely. Due to this, we don't feel comfortable returning to the Skywheel ever again. In the past, we have always had good experiences. We will not be recommending this to any of our friends and family members. Mark's manager was a lot more polite and nicer when speaking to, but Mark should be trained on how to speak with guests, especially if he is a if he is working in a customer-facing job. Fucking A, Simram. Fuck Mark. This guy was obviously rattled enough to come to Google and write a one-star review. I don't doubt that Mark might have been a bit of a dick. 
I, I definitely don't doubt it. You think working in Niagara Falls, I'm not trying to justify it for Mark, working in Niagara Falls, a tourist destination, you're dealing with, it's a very busy area. You're dealing with a lot of people all the time. So many stupid questions. So much dumb shit. Mark had probably just fucking had it with Simran here. He walked up. Mark's like, you know what? Fuck you, bud. That's that's probably how he felt. You know? Sorry, I derailed it, but it took a second to find it. No, 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 no. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. You didn't derail anything. Yeah, I don't know, Simran. I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I don't know. I always feel like siding with the employees, like when it comes to customer service, sometimes if the review's not too bad, just because I get it, bro. <laughs> like, I get it. All right, this was from Young City four years ago. One ride for one person is $13. Not worth it. Should be $8 at most and $5 at least, in my opinion. Big and nice to look at during the night, though. <laughs> Niagara Scare. Well, thank you so much for joining us and for sharing your feedback. We appreciate your comments always. No, you don't, Niagara Scare. Tell us how you really feel. Let's get Mark on the Niagara Skywheel fucking Google response team. That's, that's, I want Mark. I want Mark's opinion. <laughs> <laughs> move mark move mark to this part dude also okay so this is a very specific thing 13 dollars isn't too bad to go on an attraction in the falls you know you're going on ferris wheel you get nice pictures you get to get a good view whatever i don't think 13 dollars is too much of a stretch but to get to narrow it down to something specific of eight dollars at most and five dollars at least so so what you're saying is, is if it was four dollars you would do the same review just just the opposite you know you'd still give it two stars because it should be anywhere from five to eight, not four. $13 is cheap for a $10 million wheel. <laughs> yeah, you're right. Oh, here we go. <laughs> Braden, one star. Too tall. My child shat his pants trying this. <laughs> Listen, okay, Braden, funny, but also you could have figured that out just the second you walked up. Like you can see the wheel, you know? You, you know it's going to be fucking tall, dude. Like it's right in front of you, bro. <laughs> Dude, the ferris wheel was too tall <laughs> what do you mean too tall it's a ferris wheel my guy oh mark could write go fuck yourself young city right that's oh that's what i want the wheel goes around like four times 313 seems like a great price i agree yo right murph dog this is too tall my child shit his pants trying this fucking great there's one more slide of Skywheel. Holy shit. I think at least one more. From Josh Preet. One star. No high speed. Boring. <laughs> what does Sky think, dude? He think he's going to get on the Ferris wheel and it's just going to be like fucking like the Millennium Falcon or something and it's like, it's like fucking gone, dude? What is this guy talking about? Could you imagine if that thing spun quicker? Could you imagine if you've ever been, if any, if you've ever, I don't know if every, I'm sure every Ferris wheel is the same, but I've been in this specific Ferris wheel and already when it's going up, you're kind of going like, fucking, like it's already a little rocky where you're like, oh, ho, 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 and you look at whoever you're in with it and you guys just holding on to the side like, <laughs> I swear I'm having fun. This guy wants it to be like a fucking, <laughs> like a fucking Beyblade. <laughs> <laughs> Josh Spree expected the Autobahn. <laughs> Holy fuck, Josh Spree. God damn, dude. All right, what's next? Lysel, one star. Once the ride finished, wish I knew his name. This worker with glasses and dirty blonde slash light brown curly hair opened the door to let us out, but then he closed the door on my friend's head. Obviously, we were <laughs> we were all in shock. He looked at us and then told us to get out. Literally, you guys should fire him. He's trash. I'm gonna go out on a limb and assume that was Mark. That that had to have been that that dude, right, Mike? That sound that sounds like Mark, dude. It's a hundred percent Mark. It's <laughs> and honestly, at this point, like. You know what? I kind of like Mark. <laughs> I kind of like Mark. Yo, Zion, what's up? What? 0 0.5 review. My first wheel ride smelled like shit. We, yeah, right, dude. We had one of those. That's got to be Mark, right? Mark doesn't take any shit. Could you imagine getting off the Ferris wheel and getting a fucking door slammed on your head? And the, the person not even reacting? Being like, get out. Let's get the fuck out. You weren't fast enough, so I closed on your head. But he's like carrying his friend off like fucking half unconscious. You guys should fire him. <laughs> yeah, okay, dude. Mark's not going anywhere. How high was Mark? Not high enough. Mark gave no fucks. Bum and Jot. 
One star. There are no smoking signs, but no one adheres to, adheres to them. And there's no one here to enforce. Is that how you spell adhere? I feel like it's missing an E. It's, it's missing an E, right? That is ad he put adhers to them. And there's no one to enforce. Visited on public holiday. Guy smoking. <laughs> <He's> just <laughs> he just took a picture of some dude. <laughs> you know what? Kind of, okay, sure, sure, sure. Kind of annoying. Yeah, that's Mark, dude. That's <laughs> that's Mark. He's on break right now. <laughs> he's he's just, <laughs> holy fuck. That's actually pretty ballsy to just snap a photo of someone in public and then fucking throw it up on Google. Oh, right. Where's the no smoking sign? Right here. I can see it. It's a little bit. You can see he tried to get both in frame. It's hard to see, but it is right here. And I see no smoking, and that also looks like it says no vaping. So whatever this guy's doing, fucking bum and jot wants no part of it, dude. Fucking listen. And it's these posts on Google. 68 reviews. These people are fucking review veterans, you know? I've reviewed like three places, and two of which are Barber's, and one was Canada's Wonderland. Mark's on a smoke break, dude. <laughs> All right, what's here? One. One star. One out of ten would not recommend. The employees stole my dog. If you meet a guy named Kyle, please tell him to give me back my dog. Okay. <laughs> First of all, like, can you bring dogs on the Ferris wheel? <laughs> like, so did he just leave his dog with the people there? He left his dog with Mark. Mark said, I can't watch this dog. He gave it to Kyle. And then Kyle left with the dog. Dude. Nice that he got the name of the guy who took his dog. Yeah, at least, right? At least he got the name. They can figure it out. I feel like he reviewed the wrong business. Yeah, this is meant for, like, PetSmart or some shit. Holy. All right, that's that's it for the Skywheel. That's it for the Skywheel. I know we got a couple more places. Skywheel was a lot. All right, what's next here? The Butterfly Conservatory. Oh, I've never been. Did you... Tor, did you put a thing for this one, too? Oh, okay, okay, okay. She put, like, a... Description for us. And pictures! Look at this, dude. Butterflies feeding. Do not disturb. That's what butter butterflies eat. Oranges? Is that true? Also hate butterfly plays. They give me anxiety. It's very pretty. I, I, I've just never been. I don't know if it's anything I'd be interested in. I didn't know they eat oranges, though. Oranges and your soul. And look at this. Look at the merch. $40 t-shirts. Fucking $20 keychains with your name on it. And a butterfly. Butterfly Conservatory is a butterfly house operated by Niagara Parks Commission in Niagara Falls, Ontario, Canada. It is located approximately nine kilometers north of the falls on the grounds of Niagara Parks School of Horticulture, which is 40 hectares. What the fuck is a hectare? 99 acres. Didn't know that. 96 with a gift shop. 200-seat theater in there, too? What? Climate control greenhouse. 2,000 butterflies from over 45 different species. So this is crazy. 11,000 square foot, 300 visitors an hour, lifespan of two to four weeks for butterflies. I actually didn't know that. The conservatory imports up to 3,000 butterflies a month. Holy shit. Costa Rica, El Salvador, Philippines, Australia. Special netting along the side. Okay, Norm, okay. Pentas are replaced every two to three weeks because caterpillars have large appetites. What? Visitors who want butterflies to land on them should wear bright clothes, move slowly, and wear perfume or cologne. The emergence area allows visitors to view the butterfly life cycle and produces over 45,000 butterflies annually. That's kind of crazy. So you have to, like, dress appropriately to go there and butterflies land. I don't know if I'd want butterflies landing on me. Probably get really fucking ticklish, you know? Really fucking weird about it. 11,000 square feet seems kind of small for 2,000 butterflies, does it? I don't know enough about the butterfly game to, to chime in or to rebuttal, but is it? Oh, this is more picture. Tor really went in on this. Look at these butterflies, dude. Oh, oh, there it is. Okay, there's the button. There it is. I've seen this building for sure. Reviews. Lydia, one star. Well, it is my birthday, and my wish was to go to the Niagara Falls Butterfly Conservatory to see the real owl exhibit. We drove for a 45-minute slash no big deal slash just to find out that today slash March 19th slash 2017, you can see owls, but stuffed, carved, and so on. 
The real ones were there yesterday, according to the ad, the added advertisement. The exhibit ends on April 17th. There is nothing about owls being there. Guest on certain days. Happy birthday to me. And OT falls added an advertisement if I ever saw one. Lydia, fucking calm down, okay? Lydia, you need to fucking calm down, all right? Jesus, these ADD advertisements are not it, Lydia. <laughs> She's so rattled about it, Lishi, that she can't type. She, she saw fake owls. She wanted to see real owls, okay? One star graham cracker. The alcohol kicked in hard. You think Lydia went home, had a couple glasses of wine, and was like, you know what? Fuck this place, dude. They on certain days. <laughs> she had a stroke type it out, but no no no. I don't think she had a stroke. I think she's just legitimately rattled. Lydia's twelve. She's <laughs> she's either twelve or like a hundred and twelve. It's one of the two. <laughs> Paul oh, Lishi, what did you say? There's butterfly conserv there's a blood of butterfly conservatory near me, and I went because relatives wanted to go, and I was on edge the entire time, hated every moment. That's literally what I thought it would be, too. Like, like that's how I would think it. I've never been. But that's what I that's the, one of the reasons too. I feel like I would hate it. I'm curious. Not pink Whitney, pink Koosh. 45 minute drive. She's definitely from Hamilton. Oh, true, actually. She probably is from Hamilton. 45 minute drive? Most likely, right? Holy shit. Lydia from Hamilton. Joyce, one star. If you like crowded places where beautiful butterflies get stepped on and children crying over the deceased butterflies on the floor, this is the place to go. You know what? That's... <laughs> so now I feel like that is something that... That's one of the things that keep me from going to butterfly conservatories. There's a few things, but like that would be one thing that that you kind of would just know going in, you know? Yeah, it's Joyce's only review. She's left one review, and it's because she was rattled about dead butterflies on the floor. There's literally fucking tens of thousands of butterflies there, dude. They don't have, like, a super long lifespan. There's going to be dead ones, you know? It's just going to be the way it is. The kid's crying. I, <laughs> I, don't, know if it's the, I don't know if it's the business's fault, necessarily, right, to, to, to warrant the one star, but Joyce... Joyce felt her way. She's only wrote one, rev one review, so she's either new to the review game or she was just rattled enough about this situation. It must have been pretty traumatic. All right, well, who's this? Belenov, one star. The most useless place. Basically just a bunch of small butterflies flying around. Nothing interesting there. <laughs> what did Belenov think it was going to be, dude? It's, it's, liter it's literally a butterfly conservatory. Like, what, you, you weren't going to, like, fucking Top Golf, you know? Or you weren't going to fucking Palladium, dude. You're going to the Butterfly Conservatory. What do they have? Butterflies. I don't go to the Butterfly Conservatory to get a fucking nice bite to eat, you know? <laughs> right? Needed more adventure, right? It says to learn about the life cycle of butterfly. Life cycle implies death as well, right? Belanov and I share the same thoughts in this place, except I didn't actually go, right? Like, I'm not saying I disagree with Belanov, right? I don't disagree at all. But, like, you went, dude. You went, and you should have known what it was. Like, I don't know what you expected, you know? <laughs> One star, the butterflies taste weird, and now my congregation is comparing my breath to the sky wheel. <laughs> Holy. All right, is this Mason, I assume? One review. One star. My son had a butterfly land on his nose and die. He now take therapy. This is supposed to be an amazing time, yet all I got to see is a butterfly my son named Hanold Jinwink die on his nose. One star never coming back. <laughs> it's a joke for sure. Is this a is this a is this something if you say this fast, is this like a word that you're not supposed to say? Mason touch grass, bro. Touch grass, Mason, I assume. One star, too many butterflies. Yeah, bro, fucking idiot. Oh, my God. Hold on. Oh, lovely, Brett. Lovely. All right, what do we got next? Magda, one star. Nice place. I had to pay for my seven-month-old baby. You led with nice place. 
So you had... How much does it cost for a ticket to the... Uh, how much does it cost? Butterfly Conservatory tickets. How much do they cost? I just need to... So go. this will factor into my opinion. All right. What do we got here? Pricing. Give me pricing. Give me pricing. Admission. Here you go. You know what? I honestly... Oh, but wait. It literally says here, two and under free, dude. Two and under free. Three to 12 years old, 12.50. Adult, 13 years plus, 19 bucks. Call me crazy. Is the 19 bucks feel a little steep for the Butterfly Conservatory? Does it? Or is that just because it's not my fucking... It's not my... Uh, it's not my... Maybe because it's not my thing? Or is that... It isn't worth it, right? That doesn't seem a little pricey, right? Oranges ain't cheap, bro. <laughs> yeah, they gotta pay for those oranges. That's why. <laughs> gotta pay for the heat for the butterflies. True. I love butterflies. It wasn't really worth it, right? Nineteen seems steep. I feel like this is like a ten dollar thing, like like ten and five and free. Okay, so hold on. So she has some ground to stand on here. Had to pay for her seven month old baby. Now, Magda, you should have brought it up that it says on the website. It shows free under two years old. Unless you've got a giant baby, people would notice a seven-month-old compared to a two-year-old, right? So either Magda's full of shit or Mark also works at the Butterfly Conservatory. <laughs> one of the two. I'm going to go with Mark works there. Mona, one star. Not very good place to go. Very humid and hot weather inside. Very rushy area to walk. Okay, Mona. Also, I, you know... <laughs> Those sound, those sound like very valid concerns. The grammar, though. Holy. No way, Shaggy. Not getting me, Shaggy, when I'm focused. The grammar. Space, space. Like, what the fuck? Very humid weather side. Very rushy area to walk. Of course it's hot and humid. They are tropical butterflies, dumbass. <laughs> That's what I'm saying, bro. Like, like they're tropical butterflies. It's a greenhouse. Not a good review. <laughs> yeah, right, Mike? What the fuck? They tell you about the weather before you get it, so they even tell you. They let you know. Mona, Jesus Christ. Come on, Mona. Kathy, one star. It was so expensive, we couldn't go in. Okay. No. Listen. Okay. I'm not going to judge people on their on their money right like sure i i'm also agreeing the prices are a tiny bit steep but really i mean that's something you kind of look up before most places you know you're gonna you're gonna look some shit up you're gonna look up how much stuff costs decide if you want to go i mean no offense if you're going to niagara falls for like a day out you probably have more than $19, I would hope. I mean, you're not going to do much of anything in Niagara Falls for 20 bucks. There's not really much. I mean, you could piss away money at the Midway Arcade a little bit and not win anything. That could be something, right? Maybe you could go buy some chocolate at the Hershey place. Maybe you could go have, like, a beer at the Hard Rock, you know? Or you could go throw it in a slot machine and have the casino take your money. But, like, you know, I don't know. <laughs> we couldn't go in. You probably could go in, but you just chose not to. <laughs> Yeah, Kathy didn't plan that trip, dude. Hold on. He said nine reviews, but 132 photos. What are photos? No one looked this up. I don't want to look at her photos. But like nine reviews and 130. So she posted like she's if she posts one review of a place, she just adds several photos to go with it. 132, though. And there isn't one on this one. It's a lot of reviews. That's a lot of photos. Going to the falls at the end of March, just might check this place out. Yo, let's go, man. I'm glad we chose Niagara Falls as our topic of discussion today. So now you can see. I also had Tommy Gage in mind. I haven't seen them tonight, but I also had Tommy Gage in mind because I know they're coming to the falls soon as well. So maybe they'll watch the video or something too, or they'll pop it at some point. But I, that was kind of my thought as well. Felix, one star. Too dangerous from hu for humans. Keep away from it. Felix, they're butterflies, bro. What's so dangerous about the butterfly, you know? Oh, Ali, what's up, bud? How are you? <laughs> we are here. I wasn't chirping. Don't worry. I wasn't chirping by any means. I will make sure they take the Gage family to, to, take the Gage family to all the bad places. Yeah. 
Why? But why? Like, this is too dangerous for humans. What the fuck is so dangerous about it, bro? Like, they're butterflies, not Republicans. <laughs> Political joke. Political joke. <laughs> Let's go, dude. Oh, my God, dude. Bazinga. <laughs> Banned. I'm not going to ban. I, I, listen, listen, listen. It's, it's a joke. It's a joke. It's a joke. Everyone, you know. But um, <laughs> I feel like there's a list of places to check out that we got from the Buds. Bucky's, these places. The place in New Brunswick that we saw on Geo your dad visited. I forgot all about that place. My dad said he was going to take me there, too. I'm going to visit probably in April, I think, is the next time I'm going to visit. Or whenever the whenever the fuck Hollow Baloo is. We'll, we'll see if we can go there. Still more butterfly conservatory. Oh, we got photos. Inga, three stars. I love butterflies, so it was great. Those aren't butterflies. That's a horse. What are these fucking things, dude? What is that? Oh, that's a butterfly, maybe. Uh, butterfly speeding. Okay, so that's a butterfly. That's a butterfly, and that's a horse, dude. <laughs> Forget that's a huge butterfly on the right. <laughs> Do they have horses at the Butterfly Conservatory? Maybe you can. Can you ride horses there as well? What the fuck? Also, I, I'm so confused about the three stars. I love butterflies, so it was great. If it was great, why did you only rate it three stars? What was like? Where I want to know why we're missing two stars, Inga. <laughs> There's a big garden with walking paths around it. Like, big enough for a horse? Well, it's like a horse and carriage. Like, you could ride this, dude. $20 to ride a horse around butterflies. You know what? If this is included in the admission, if you don't have to pay extra for the horse, that's pretty good. I don't know. I was there in the winter. How <laughs> fair. That, that's actually fair if that's included in the admission. In the winter time, they have you pulled around by, like, snow dogs on a sled. <laughs> She loves butterflies, but she doesn't love butterflies. That's fair. <laughs> Rolo, two stars. Meh, they don't land on your hand. $17 wasted. Well, Rolo, if you read the description, were you wearing bright colors? Were you doing... Did you do all the correct things? Do you not smell like your pastor's breath? Let's break this down as to why maybe the butterfly did not want to land on your hand specifically. Because like, they landed on my head. I hated that. I feel like I would hate that, too. If I'm there the whole time, fucking going like that. I, I just... You know? <laughs> like, fuck. 1,999 caterpillars hatching to butterflies. One hatch into a horse. <laughs> oh, man. Oh my god, we got three stars for Santasia. Anytime I see three stars in a review this long, it's I find it more intriguing than anything, to be honest. Because like, I don't know. You're 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 still it's still slightly better than what you you know, I don't know. Anyways, I haven't read this, so first time going to the Butterfly Conservatory, and it was beautiful. Great place to bring the children to be frontline with Mother Nature. But unfortunately, the worst customer service ever. As I walked in with my family, I was not greeted at all. I had to second guess myself, thinking I was in the wrong place. Lane, which is apparently the super Lane, which is apparently the supervisor, asked my family their ages for the prices. As I'm counting, she interrupted with an unpleasant tone, "How much?" I responded, "I'm counting." <laughs> then stated to her that this is not how you greet customers. And that she is really unprofessional. I even gave her an example. Hello, welcome to the Butterfly Conservatory. How am I help you? <laughs> this is not real. How am I help you? Which is the professional way. Lane was the worst interaction I've had visiting any facility with my family. <laughs> Yo, dude, what? I'd be looking at Santasia too, being like, what? How am I help you? <laughs> okay. Tor, this one actually got me pretty good. Oh my God, dude. Woo. Woo. So you know what? Like, I've heard she really painted the picture with it, though. Really painted the picture. As I walked in my family, I was not greeted at all. I love that expectation as well. Like, I understand that when you come into a facility, 
there should be someone there, right? You know, like, like I, I, I do understand it, but I just get a vibe from Santasia that she expects these things, right? Like, she is the main character at the Butterfly Conservatory, you know? You did not greet me. Well, let me tell you how to greet. How am I help you? <laughs> like, we didn't ask for your help, Santasia, okay? Lane and Mark and fucking Kyle are out having fucking darts in the back, bud. Was it Kyle? I forget. Holy fuck, I hate Santasia. But we got we got little Jimmy here, I think. <laughs> Three stars. It was really filled with butterfly. Free fly around. But it was a bit scary when there are hundreds of butterfly around me. <laughs> Bro, I went to this butterfly conservatory and there was just too many butterflies. There was way too many, dude. If you had about like a thousand less butterflies, I probably would have bumped this up to four stars. Fucking little Jimmy, right? He's got 191 reviews. Yeah, right. I'm glad you guys are pointing this stuff out because I'm too busy reading this stuff. I didn't even notice. 191 reviews. Like, bro, he's even got a... He's actually, Inga's got the badge. So does Rolo. Inga, Rolo, Jimmy, they got started. These are fucking top Google reviewers. You think Google gives them stuff for reviewing? Like Amazon does? You do enough reviews on Amazon, Amazon will send you shit just to review. I, th I thought about diving in. But I'm afraid they'll send me some shit that I don't need, right? Like, they're going to send me, like, fucking... Like a stuffed owl. And I'm going to be like, be like, like review this. I'm like, I fucking don't want to sing at all, dude. <laughs> You're a level eight Google reviewer. They sent me socks. Is that real? I mean, I believe it, dude. Did, is it, I'm so gullible, though. But like, are you being serious? Like, legit, legit? I low-key want to read Santasia's other review. She's only got 10, right? Serious? So they have sent you stuff. That's crazy. I want to deep dive on Jimmy's reviews. He's got 191, bro. He does seem like a character. Santasia seems like a fucking treat. For sure. Yo, Adam, what's up, bud? How are you? Okay, that's it for the Butterfly Conservatory. Let's go. Hell yeah. I think we got two more, I think. The Floral Clock in Niagara. I would have never even heard of this place at all. I had only heard about it today when Tor said, I'm looking at reviews for the floral clock. And I'm glad she puts descriptions in here because I still don't know what it is. I'm like, okay. Well. The intricate designs of, on the face of the floral clock are created with thousands of carpet bedding plants and are changed twice each year. The, sorry. Oh, 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 I know this thing. People can review this thing. This is a reviewable attraction in Niagara Falls. Measuring 40 feet diameter, the face of the floor clock is filled with as much as 16,000 carpet plants. Standing behind the floor clock is a tower that houses Westminster chimes that greet each, other each quarter hour. If the door into the tower is open during your visit, you can take a glimpse at the clock mechanism and enjoy photographs that show almost every face design dating all the way back to 1950. That is kind of neat, actually. Adam, you said I've wrote one review in my life and bashed the place so bad. Bro, I've wrote three. All of them. Watch, no, I wrote one positive one. Because Lincoln stole my heart with my haircut. Then Luigi fucked my head up, so I wrote a bad review about him. Or did I even write one about Luigi? I can't remember. And then Wonderland, I shit all over. Oh! Jersa! Tor, even this alert's freezing. Yo, Jersa, 37 love months. You miss you guys. Jersa, I love you too, bud. I literally, Jersa, I talked about you. Yeah, or not, I didn't stream yesterday. So Tuesday, excuse me, Tuesday, Monday or Tuesday, we got a raid and there was another Buffalo fan. Another Sabres fan, excuse me. It was last stream, right, January? And he's like, oh, I'm the only, I'm the only Buffalo fan or whatever. I was like, nope, I know one more. <laughs> like, and I brought you up, bud. I miss you, bud. Hell yeah. Thank you so much, man. I hope you're doing good. I hope the kids are good. You're an absolute beauty, bud. Just hold up thinking about you for sure. Hey, K said they hope you're well. I miss you. Yo, everybody did, bro. I brought up fucking, uh, I just bring up Jersa and everybody knows who I'm talking about. You're a beauty, bud. I hope you're doing good. Are all these on Canada side of the falls? Yes, they are, Luna. I'm pretty sure. Or isn't it all this, right, Tor? All this is Canada side right now. Yeah, yeah. All right, I didn't know this was a thing that could be reviewed, so. Okay, excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. Excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. Hold on, I'm muting the mic for one sec while I blow my nose. Okay, I'm good. Yo. Besides, like, buffalo? <laughs> yeah. 
Oh, my ears. It's not that like it's super bad or anything. It's just gross. People are going to be like, oh, this fucking guy. All right, what do we got here? Reviews. Andrew, one star. Watch out for ticks in the area across from the main parking lot under the trees. My friends found some yesterday. Keep. I feel like this isn't a floral clock's problem, dude. Like, I mean, the, sure, the floral clock is there, right? But, like, actually, is it the floral clock's job to worry about ticks? Like, I'm just, does it warrant a one-star review for the floral clock? They're just trying to run a business, you know? He just reviewed nature. Okay, see? Okay, good. Adam, I'm glad I'm glad you said that because I was like, this doesn't feel right, you know? Like, it, it's, just a, it's not the clock's problem, dude. You could go to the Ferris wheel and get ticks over there, you know? It's the clock. The clock knows when it is tick time, according to Andrew. <laughs> what is it? It's tick tock o'clock. Let's go, bud. <laughs> Fucking hell yeah. Saida, one star, went today on December 21st. They didn't manage its beauty. Neither clock was working. Since no snow for two days, they could have managed it a bit better. Holy fuck. Fuck, I hate this person. No snow for two days, so the clock should just be perfectly good to go. It's, yeah, right, Murph Dog? It's winter, you fucking maniac. Listen, listen to this, Murph Dog. Yesterday, I was sitting here, right, and I'm like, you know what? It's warm. It's been warm. I'm going to fire up the grill, right? I, I, my grill's all covered up. Everything's covered, right? I was like, I'm going to fire up the grill today. We're going to grill some fucking... Thanks for the sub, bud. Grill up some chicken or some shit, right? Pop it, can we? Thanks for giving us up to Hackman, dude. Thank you so much, man. So, like, I was going to fire up the grill. I swear to fuck, that afternoon, it started snowing, raining, and the temperature just fucking dropped, right? So fucking unpredictable, the weather here, right? Around that time of year. How dare you think you're going to go the, go to Niagara Falls on December 21st because you really need to catch a glimpse of the floral clock. It's Canada, bro. In December. <laughs> right, Lisha, and right by the water, too. Flowers are growing down here, but what's the matter with winter flowers? <laughs> right? Holy fuck. They put the date and expect the people to feel bad, right? Like, they're sitting here garnering for sympathy, and they put the date. Dude, oh. Josh, local guide. What's that mean? Is he, like, work there? One star. It's a clock. Dot, dot, dot. Made from flowers. You literally get to watch your life tick away as you look at it. Did he, like, what did he expect the clock to Thanks do? for the sub, bud. Papa Kenway! Thanks for gifting us up to Zaya, bud. Thank you so much, man. Thank you so, so much. I really appreciate it, dude. But Josh, like, what did you expect, bro? It's a clock, man. Like, it's 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 a clock. That's it. Doesn't try to be anything else. It literally says it's called Floral Clock Niagara. You think it's like it's gonna fucking? It, it's a transformer. He's gonna walk up. This thing's gonna be like fucking Autobots assemble and fucking morph, dude. Like, what's the point of the review, dude? And he's a local guide. Then you should know what's going on, dude. I want to know where he's a local guide for. Like, you know? Like, where are you a local guide, bro? Like, what's so exciting where you guide people? He didn't realize what floral meant. <laughs> Josh just like me, for real. Right, Mike? Uh, listen, listen. And this is the thing, right? I don't disagree with him, right? I don't disagree. I disagree with the one-star review. Because, like, you don't have to... It, the, the clock wasn't trying to be any, anybody else, you know? The clock wasn't trying to be anything else other than a clock, bro. It's the clock of immortality, but yeah, you get to watch it as it watch your life tick away as you look at it. Great, thanks for that thought, bud. That's that's what I wanted to hear. Mario, 151 reviews, 55 stars. How do you have 151 reviews and you don't got the cool little star like Josh has here? Or that Josh has a different star than the other buds. 151 reviews and he's still not verified, but even Google doesn't like this guy. Nothing special there. Just people standing around the clock taking pictures. It's a, another local guy, bro. Like, like, he's like, but you know what? Now I'm convinced that these local guides were probably local guides for Niagara. Maybe they got fired or let go, and now they're just shitting on all the fucking, just shitting on all the local attractions. <laughs> Should they be taking a shit on the clock? What do you want there, bud? That's like, what do you want? What did you expect, man? 
Mario's badge is pixelated. Oh, it, oh, it is. It is. You're right. Okay, hold on. You're right. I can vaguely see it here. It is a little pixelated. Oh, because Tor blurred out the actual picture. That's why. You're right. You're right. You're right. It is pixelated. So he does have a star. Sorry, Mario, if you're watching. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Please keep writing reviews. <laughs> Mario is Mark. <laughs> Machio. Oh, yes, that was horrible, Brad. <laughs> Fantastic Four. One star. Another local guide. It's just a simple floral clock. Good to take pics, but kind of a boring place. Again, I am so curious what these expectations were. Well, the Fantastic Four, clearly just a very exciting bunch, were bringing their fucking family over to see this floral clock. What did they expect it to do? What did they expect? I would write, I would understand a one star if the clock was wrong, you know? Oh, we, the clock said six. We had dinner reservations for six, but the, it was actually seven. They forgot about daylight savings. I would understand the one star then, right? You missed your dinner reservations because the clock was wrong, right? But, but the clock needs to move faster. Oh, Jersa, what'd you say, bud? Let me see. I want to see what you said earlier. Doing all right, but busy with the kids. Sports Miracle only has four months of high school. Crazy, bro. That flies, man. That flies, dude. Holy shit. Do they want the flowers to spring to life and start slinging, <laughs> singing the hills are alive from the sound of music? Right? I just, what the fuck do they expect them from a clock, dude? Insane. There's still more floral clock reviews. Asibul, one star. No flowers has been seen on the clock. <laughs> no flowers has been seen on the clock. Now, out of all of the weird clock reviews, this one I understand the most because it is the floral clock. And if there's no flowers on the clock, what does the clock got? Just the time, bro. We, just the time. <laughs> he went on Oh, Liz, I had to take a double take because he wrote he went on January 21st. I want to see if it said it somewhere. <laughs> yeah, like, yeah. Buddy goes in fucking January. <laughs> no shit. There's no flowers, dude. Chris. Another, these are local guides, dude. One star, 151 reviews. Flowers were pulled out. <laughs> Yo, just imagine being so tilted about a floral clock that you come home or, or pull out your phone and start Google reviewing them, dude. This is what people with 151 Google reviews do with their life, you know? And as Hackman just drops, I have 846 reviews. 1,011 photos as a Google logo guy. <laughs> Okay, hold on. Hackman, I'm not laughing at you. I just love that I'm chirping it. And then you hit me with like eight times the amount of reviews these guys have. Just just hold on. Hackman, legitimately, if you went to the floral clock, right? And it was just like kind of mediocre. You know, maybe say it's in like March. The weather's kind of fucking wishy-washy. Cold one day, warm the next day. Flowers are kind of fucky, right? Would you still go to Google, truthfully, and be like, this place is shit? One star. No flowers. Is the floral clock free or is there a fee? <laughs> I'm assuming it's free. It's kind of just out in the open. Okay, Tori just confirmed. It is free. You just walk up to it, bro. I, uh, that, honestly, you added a wrinkle in the story that I, I almost looked up because if they did charge, then I would understand. Free, then four stars. <laughs> okay, you're an honest review. Okay, you know what? I appreciate the honest review. At least you say you'd give it four stars. It's not, you know, it's free unless you get mugged. <laughs> yeah, we got to go through. We got to go through Hackman's Google reviews. Hackman, I'm so curious. Your Google review photos have been, have been viewed 7,618,000 times. Dude, what? And all they send you is fucking socks? Google should be sending you fucking everything, dude. You should work for Google. You should get a Google salary at that rate. Need the ad rev. Yeah, let's go, right? Yeah, give us the ad rev on that, dude. Josie. Josh. One star. The clock is dead and not a single flower is seen. Maybe under renovation. <laughs> okay, so you know what? Okay. Fair, right? Fair. Now, does anybody... Do you guys know... 
Mount Mayor, do you know? I'm, I'm asking local buzz. Does anybody know? Do people work at the clock? It to me, it's weird that you. It, to me, it's weird that you can even review this thing. You know, it's weird that you can even review it at all. But do people are people actually employed? Right? I don't think there's anyone there, dude. Because I know where this is. I've seen this several times, and I've never once thought of it as like its own business to review. <laughs> Niagara Parks take care of it, right? So it's just kind of like a so weird. So weird. I wouldn't give a bad review to anything unless I got fucked over. Like a bad haircut, dude. Or like Canada's Wonderland. <laughs> Jerse, I'm with you, dude. It takes a lot. It genuinely takes a lot for me to write reviews. Genuinely. If I'm writing a review, it's bad. Or it's because the restaurant told me I could get something for free if I do it. That's the only way I'm writing reviews. Parks does a lot with all the other greenery and fall stuff. Okay. Run by the city. Okay, okay. Mario, again, too hot, super boring. Again, just write this. Did Mario write the weather last time? I, who wrote it? I don't know if it was him. I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong. But, like, it's how is it the clock's fault, dude, that it's too hot outside? <laughs> it's the fucking clock's fault, man. Complain to fucking God or something, dude. Does God have Google reviews? Uh, Hackman, this is. Yeah, you've probably reviewed it at that rate. I feel like there are a lot of people that write a review if it's going to be a bad review. 100%. I've, I forget the stat, but you are definitely... I've heard from several people. You are definitely more inclined to write a bad review than a good review, right? If you have a good experience at a restaurant or is at the floral clock, you're not going to go write a good review about it because you just got the service that you expected, right? Too hot in July. Go fuck yourself. <laughs> So does get money if you get named in great reviews. When I worked at retail, they give you $5 for every nice review. Yeah, ex I like that system in a way because it helps boost. Reviews matter. They really do. Reviews do matter. At least like I look at places. So for example, if I'm looking at two restaurants in the same area and I'm undecided and one has an average of like three and a half to four stars and the other has five stars, I'm going to go to the five star. It's just the way it is, dude. I don't know. My brain is just fucking weird that way. At least nine times out of ten. I'm going to go to the higher reviewed one if I'm even looking at reviews, right? Like, holy fuck, dude. It's probably 90, 10, bad to good. I would, that sounds 100% right. I would believe that for sure. Richard, one star. The entire place is ghetto. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, you're talking about the falls, man. Coming from someone that's from the area. I agree, man. It, it is kind of ghetto. I, 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 I agree, bro. Like, like I mean, so this isn't to deter anybody that's potentially coming here to visit, right? You're coming here to visit. You get to see Niagara Falls. Niagara Falls is beautiful. There's a lot of fun things to do. I say it's ghetto just because I've been there 7,000 times, okay? But some every time I go now, when I don't, I don't go as often, but, like, I went and saw the Buds recently, and I hadn't been in a long time. Every time I go, I forget how beautiful the falls actually is, right? So as long as you, you go there with certain expectations. But Richard here, he's wrote two reviews, and one was the entire place is ghetto. So I'm genuinely curious what his other review is. But go to Niagara on the lake if you want something nicer. That's exactly what Tori said. Is this the U.S. side? This is the Canada side, but I guess it could go for both, right? Not a useful review, yeah. <laughs> There's still more floral clock. Beanish, two stars. It's a huge clock. Mm, yeah, that's about it. Very far from Clifton Hill. I'm not sure what I was expecting to see, but for me, a big clock shaped plants that don't even tell time wasn't it. <laughs> Listen, Beanish, I'm going to go out on a limb and say you need a little bit more help than just telling time, bro. That's, that's, uh, woo. <laughs> uh, that was a tongue twister there, pal. <laughs> <laughs> Ever since they put that floral clock in this area, has gone downhill. Oh, I've written two Google reviews. One was about a car dealership not wearing a mask during COVID. I have a small underlying condition. I was not happy. The other was about a UPS store that wouldn't help me. But the other UPS store down the road went out of their way to help me. Right? Okay. That sounds fair, right? That sounds fair. That sounds fair. Henry, two stars. These are all local guides, eh? So local guide you just get for doing a lot of Google reviews? Like, you don't have to get, like, approved. You don't have to show, like, fucking pay stubs or work statements saying you, you worked in this place. I could just be a local guide if I just... I could just go up. Maybe we should do that. We should make a video. 
go on a quest to just review a bunch of places in the area so I could become a local guide. And people can take my opinion for fucking like it matters. Two stars. Underwhelming. It's a big clock made from a large shrubbery area with flowers. It's a good place to start a bike ride from. <laughs> Whatever, dude. <laughs> Whatever. Ian, local guide. 193 reviews. Three. Anytime I see even 193, normally I would think that was a lot until Hackman hit me with 800 and something. Uh, now now the, all these people are amateurs. Two stars. Angle is good for helicopter pilots to know the time. Not so useful for earthbound people. Bro, what's the wink for, dude? This is an attempt at a joke, I, I'm assuming. Ian, 193 reviews. How many fucking do you think had a winky face at the bottom? Earthbound. He said earthbound. So is he an, he's an alien. This guy. <laughs> earthbound. Ian thinks he's a riot. Ian is not a riot. This dude totally thinks he's hilarious. He does. He's the funniest guy going. Dude, no, do not stop at Floral Clock Niagara. <laughs> if you're going to the Floral Clock to get the time, then maybe it's you who has the issue, right? I could agree more. David, two stars, 213 reviews. Eh, it's a clock. You can't, you really can't see in pictures because the hands face the sky. There were no colorful flowers here this year. It was dead, brown, and yellow. Nothing else here to do slash see. Save time and see something else. <laughs> okay. Albert, two stars. I don't know why this even exists. It's a giant clock with flowers. <laughs> why are you reviewing it? <laughs> Yo, Peter Griffin pick. Are you spot that? It kind of does look like Peter Griffin, eh? <laughs> There's still more, Tor. Mech, three stars, lost wedding ring, gold hammered matte wedding ring, missing on 17 July 2023 around 2 p.m. Any slight chance someone found it and sees this, please get in touch, please. P.S. Place is nice, but not much to see. <laughs> All right. All right. Okay. That's kind of funny. So honestly, I hope you found your wedding ring, Mech. But also, I love that you contributed to the review, at least. I understand you're trying to find your lost wedding ring. Great. But thank you for at least giving us some facts about the floral clock in which you are reviewing this on. <laughs> the place is nice. <laughs> if there's not much to see, you think you could have found the wedding ring. though? Bro? That shit is long gone. One the amount of foot traffic, Jersa, that shit is long gone, dude. There is no way it's still there. I Mech, I wish you the best, but I hope you found it. Adam from Canada. Another local guy. Three stars. I mean, it's a big clock, and the background is made of flowers. There's not really much to say about it. I suppose if you really like clocks or flowers, it might be worth your time. But I was only there as a meeting point for a jet boat ride. There are visitors center with bathrooms. If the mood strikes you, there is also an option to purchase ice cream and a commercial vehicle license from the gift shop. So they've got that going for them. I really can't say anything more about this place. I suppose the parking lot was in pretty good shape. Why does this thing even exist? <laughs> So you can tell Adam thinks he's a hoot as well. Adam's a fucking comical guy here. <laughs> Holy, that's me, dude. Why are you on Google review, Adam? Holy. Why does this thing even exist? You know what? Fair point. Why are you even reviewing it, dude? Jesus. It only takes 77 reviews to be a local guide. Or probably l less. Shit. We could do this, buds. I might put my review hat on pretty soon. Oh, Sunil, three stars. Without flowers, it will be five stars when the flowers arrive. <laughs> Sunil with like a little fucking empty threat here, bro. <laughs> like, three stars for now. Show me some goddamn flowers. And I'll consider bumping this to five. As if he's fucking, as if his one review matters, dude. Sunil is the main character at the fucking Floral Clock Niagara. <laughs> what the fuck, dude? Hold on, what did you say? Mech has 50. Oh, Mech does have 50, and he's a local guy. True. This is the thing that will kickstart his stand-up career, right? <laughs> he's trying for the audience on Google. 
Has anyone else come across the IG account called Subpar Parks? A lady takes quotes from bad reviews about national parks in the U.S. and draws a scene and quote from the bad review. That's funny. I want to... Susan, can you send that to me in Discord so I don't forget? Or just post it in Bud's chat or something in Discord if you can. I'm really curious. Or here, hold on, hold on. Actually, what, what am I doing? I can literally just do this. Five stars if the clock was at the Tokyo Dome. <laughs> I'll give it five stars if the clock sings Shaggy without the flower stance. Kevin. Three stars. Maybe a little overrated. Unless you really like flowers. Overrated? Bro, it's a floral clock. It's a floral clock. Jesus. There's still more. Tor, how many fucking... This is what... This is why I was so late to stream. Because you're picking apart the floral clock. <laughs> Wilma. Three stars. Awesome actual moving clock. Covered by live, beautiful flowers. Great for photos. This is wholesome, dude. This is actually wholesome. This is nice. It actually looks quite nice. This is wholesome. Only three stars, though, Wilma. I want to know why we lost the two. Why did we lose two stars, bro? You guys look so happy there. You guys had a great time. What a glowing three-star review. If there was ever, like, a really nice three-star review, this is it, dude. This wins. I actually kind of like that one. I kind of like this one. Oh, they got another one. <laughs> what is this? What are they doing? Are they telling the time to each other? Wait, is this the... Are they twins? Or, holy shit. <laughs> dude. Hackman, tell me you make reviews like this, dude. Tell me every place you go to in your 800 plus review career, you and you you fucking made picture you post pictures like this, bro. 678 photos. So Wilma definitely posts photos like this everywhere, dude. And I kind of I kind of love her for it, to be honest. I kind of love her for it. <laughs> Look, there's so many. Poor. <laughs> Okay, that's it for the floral clock. Let's go. <laughs> Yo, I kind of love it. Yo, is Wilma single? Dude, she... You know what? I love... I want to hang out with Wilma. I was just going to say that. I kind of love people that can take something like a floral clock and have that much fun. Still confused why it was only three stars. She looked like she was having a blast. But I think, honestly, that was pretty good. Oh, yeah, right, Susan? You, it, when you go visit, you got to go to the floral clock review. Three-star review, five-star personality. I couldn't have said that any better myself. All right, I think this is the last one. I think. Niagara Falls itself. You can actually go on and review Niagara Falls specifically. This ought to be good. Formed by the Niagara River, which drains Lake Erie into Lake Ontario. The combined falls have the highest flow rate of any waterfall in North America that has a vertical drop of more than 50 meters. During peak daytime tourist hours, more than 168,000 M3 meters third, M3, 5.9 million CU foot. Yo, smart buds, what the fuck does this mean? Cubic feet of water? Cubic meters of water goes over the crest of the falls every minute. Horseshoe, that's a lot of water. Horseshoe Falls is the most powerful waterfall in North America. As measured by the flow rate, Niagara Falls is famed fame for its beauty and its valuable source of hydroelectric power. Balancing recreational, commercial, and industrial uses has been a challenge for the stewards of the falls since the 19th century. It means a lot of water. Thank you. That's why I need everything explained to me like I'm a toddler. And there it is, buds. The falls. This looks like an AI-generated photo of the falls, if I'm being honest. But I think this is what it looks like. To be honest, I've never been this close on this side of it. I, I usually stay up by the bridge area. <laughs> Jesus! That scared the shit out of me. Know what's powerful? That, dude. Actually, that fart sounded like it wanted to be powerful, and then it came out in like five or six spurts. It does look like AI, but I have a similar picture. So it's just this pretty, eh? I've been on the Maid of the Mist and shit. I've been down here and stuff. It's pretty good. The false is nice. What possibly could you say bad about it? Oh, there's more photos, guys, here. Look, look at this. I don't know. Yeah, Taurus, like, you don't know. Like, I don't know what's coming next. I'm clicking with you guys, so I don't know what's coming next. But, Tori, this is great. This is nice. Look at this. Look at the rainbow, dude. Hell yeah. 
All right, let's get to the reviews. Should I go to the fall sometime? I would, in my opinion, yes. I, I think everyone, if they get the chance, should go to the fall sometime. I agree. It's one of the fucking major wonders of the world or whatever the fuck, right? It, it, it is pretty to look at. It's really nice. There's a lot of things you can do. We're looking at some batteries. There's a lot of fun shit you can do. You can have a good time in the falls. 100%. 100%. So Tommy and Allie, you guys will genuinely have a great time in the falls. There's a lot of things to do. A lot of things. Don't listen to these fucking losers. Who I haven't read yet. But <laughs> at least the ones we have read. But let's see what these guys say. Nicholas, one star. I fell off the waterfall. JK, it was really fun. Well, bro, I, why did you review to one star? This guy writes a joke review and doesn't realize he's detrimenting. He's a detriment to the business of Niagara Falls. With this one star review. Nicholas, jokester, two reviews. What's his other fucking review? Something fucking stupid too, right? For sure. <laughs> Went to the Ferris wheel. It's not high enough. It doesn't spin fast enough. <sighs> Rick. One star. Too many tourists. Rick. My guy. It is a tourist destination, bro. It is a tourist destination. What do you mean, too many tourists? It's Niagara Falls just for the locals? Bro, tourists at the falls? What? What? How could you? How dare you, Rick? Emil, one star. Too much water. Too many tourists? Too much water? <laughs> Too much water. Dude, like, bro, like, what did you mean? Like, how much water did you want? How much water did you want, Emil? Two reviews. You found my review. <laughs> too much water, not enough milk. How is it too much? Like, you're not jumping in. I hope not. Unless you're fucking Nicholas. Teo Man. One star. I thought it was Viagra Falls. <laughs> 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 zap one star stay home okay zap why dude why you need to zap needs to fucking elaborate dude zap needs to elaborate stay home why what was your experience local guide i've got more questions than anything from this review. Brody. One star. Pretty good, but the president's heads weren't there. I guess we're remodeling or something. I feel like... I feel like this has to be a joke, right? They're like... They're like it has to be. Is it a joke? Doc? It, 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 it's a joke, right? Like, because part of me, because he didn't lay it out like a joke, right? I mean, the dot, 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 maybe. But, like, this is not a funny joke at all, dude. Like, I know what he was trying to go for, but it's not. It's, is it a Parks and Rec joke? That's what I mean. I don't want to make fun of him if maybe I just don't get the joke. It's got to be a it's got to be a more in-depth joke, right? Has to be. All right, Brody. Well, you're too fucking smart for me, bud. <laughs> Faded. One star. Most boring place on earth. Bro, it's... There's a lot to do, dude. It is definitely not the most boring place on earth. I think Faded lost a little bit of money at the casino. That's my bet. I think he has. I think he has. Oh, you said, no, it's a stupid joke. But I think they went to the Grand Canyon and Andy said something about the presents. Ah, so it is just a bad joke. Not Just not funny. I gotta do it again. I gotta do it again. Scottish Tiger! I had the mic muted, but Christ me, oh my god. Oh my goodness gracious. I'm leaking out my nose. Fucking Port Colbert. Fucking one star. Too many allergies. Rick, one star. Very rude driver and also a liar. <laughs> 
Wait, what? <laughs> He's also a liar. Rick. I think you're supposed to review the cab company. Who drove you? Like, Reed, we are quite literally reviewing Niagara Falls. Like, Niagara Falls. Not Niagara Falls Taxi. What is Rick on about, bro? Lied about the falls. He said there would be less water than this. I got there. There was too much water. The water whispered lies to him. The falls has a driver. Is that true? Do they, <laughs> could you imagine? They have one driver, Niagara Falls, just booting people around. No cab companies allowed. He also lied. <laughs> Did he lie about the floral clock? Did he say the flowers would be out, but took you there in December? <laughs> like, Niagara Falls drives and lies, right? Like, what the fuck, dude? Rick, I'm curious, bro. Albert, one star. I got my period. My wife. <laughs> <laughs> it's... <laughs> So Albert here, Albert is pissed that he went to, he probably went on a nice little holiday, got a nice little hotel with his wife, thought he was going to get a little something, something, right? And goddamn Niagara Falls swooped in and gave her a period. How fucking dare they? How dare Niagara Falls, right? It's like when people have to pee and you hear water running, so you got to go to the bathroom, right? You're like, oh shit. <laughs> she got to the falls, heard water running, and was like, oh, Gotta go to shop for Strug Mart. <laughs> what is the point of this review, bro? I'm sure his wife loves that he reviewed that, too. Like, she's probably fucking loves that he fucking decided to throw that up on Google. <laughs> like, what a fucking asshole, dude. I'll, 91 reviews. Every one of them is like this, right, dude? <laughs> Every single one, dude. He didn't get his red wings. Oh, dude. Brutal. Oh. Jesus Christ. Dieta. One star. We were not impressed. <laughs> we were not impressed by Niagara Falls. 218 reviews, 181 photos. Niagara Falls is beautiful, okay? His imaginary wife. So, you know what? That's probably more accurate than anything. Maybe it was his attempt at a joke as well. Sherry, one star. It was flowing like God's jizz. <laughs> oh, Sherry. Oh, Sherry. Why is that one star? Well, my only thought is, I guess, God has a small penis. That's my thought. Maybe that's why. Maybe that warranted the one star. Maybe that warranted the one star. That I don't know. Other than that, I thought God only did that once with Mary Lady. <laughs> Hot Alley, would you say here the falls have too much water? That's it. We aren't coming. And also too much jizz. Just be careful, okay? <laughs> Drake is God. <laughs> God ain't no Drake. Puts a whole new meeting on Made of the Mist. Oh, dude. Oh. When I get to the Great White North, I better see the goddamn CN Tower or I riot. No, Papa can't wait, bud. We are, we are taking you on the Made of the Jizz. That's where we're going, bud. <laughs> oh, Sherry. Finley, one star. I hate it because my mom fell in. <laughs> Finley, I don't think that happened, but if it did, kudos to you for having the wherewithal to come to Google and tell us about it. <laughs> what do we got here? Ron, one star. Gordon Ramsay would compare the taste of water to a bloody poop. <laughs> Ron, why are you drinking from Niagara Falls, bro? Why? 
Right. <laughs> yeah, why are you drinking it, dude? <laughs> also, I don't think I've ever heard of Gordon ever comparing anything to bloody poop. I don't think I, I've heard granddad's toes. <laughs> Gordon said some weird shit. I don't know if I've heard him say bloody poop, though. <laughs> Ron, I think you got to stop drinking the fucking water, bud. This person's whole name is blurred out, so I don't know. One star. Very limited choices of ketchup. I got nothing. <laughs> but, but what? That's Niagara Falls. I got, I got nothing, dude. I got I got nothing. Sorry, are you sure these are from Niagara Falls? 100%, dude. Like These are very legit, I promise you. <laughs> Where you should have tons of choices of ketchup. I'm honestly, this is the, this is, I, you know what? I was today years old when I found out there was more than one flavor of ketchup. I, I honestly thought, Ketchup was just ketchup, dude. There's green and purple ketchup. Oh, yeah, you're right. You're right. You're right. Oh, different brands favor. Okay, yeah, it could be some different brands. You're right. You're right. You're right. Niagara Falls Steakhouse. We have ketchup and ketchup. Honestly, if you say ketchup, just tell me so I can ban you. Now. Just <laughs> I'm just kidding. I don't care what you say. Oh my god. My fucking nose, dude. Hold on, guys. Let me show you something funny. Hold on. One sec. One sec. Oh, you fucker. You, you. Hold on. I was trying. What I was trying to do was get a picture of the dog sleeping. But as soon as I said, hold on, he fucking woke up. He was looking towards me fucking like this. And then as soon as I try to be quiet and turn, just turn my phone without him knowing, he fucking pops his head up. How do you mess up reviewing Niagara Falls at a grocery store? Right? I don't get it. Eric, one star. Falls pretty. Didn't care for Canadians. Better sights to see it. Better people right here in the US of A. Goddamn, the land of the free, the home of the brave. Get the fuck back there then, Eric. Don't step foot on my goddamn Niagara Falls or come anywhere near my goddamn floral clock again, Eric. I swear to God, I'll kick your ass right back across that goddamn rainbow bridge. <laughs> Eric can suck my Canadian ass. <laughs> you know what? Honestly, uh, here's the thing. As, as a Canadian, but this, it's not. I'm not even remotely uh, offended by this, to be fair. I'm not even remotely offended by it. I just think it's kind of funny because, listen, th there's always this notion that uh, Canadians are nice people, right? And listen, I don't disagree. I think I think there are a lot of very nice Canadians. But having lived here my whole life, and other Canadians can attest, there are, I, there are a lot of dicks here, too, you know? There are a lot of dicks. There's dickheads everywhere, bro. Like, there, there's a lot of fucking... Rude ass Canadians. Trust me, I know. Dicks everywhere. So listen, Eric probably maybe he ran into Mark. You know? Maybe he ran into Mark. Megan, what's up? Yo, Drexel, what's up, bud? Most of them work at Lighter Works. <laughs> Walking wags everywhere, bud. I heard a guy go, Theo, one star. Last time I was there, my wife fell in and died. Granted, I did push her, but still. One star. You know what's worse than this joke? The fact that 10 people liked it. That is worse than the joke altogether. Because now to review Theo probably has so much confidence right now, right? He's like, bro, I'm like, fucking. They might as well give him his local guide badge now for that one. Dude, holy shit. 10 likes, dude. 10 likes for this fucking shitty joke. Insane. Yeah, hack man, fucking 800 review guys saying don't quit your day job, Theo. Exactly, bro. I agree with you. Anywho, the Americans technically own most of the falls. Yeah, I thought I knew that too, right? Justin, 
One star. Niagara Falls is pointless and dumb to go. It's just a waterfall and stupid people think it's just special. What a waste of time and money to take a trip. Also, the tour is so pointless to be on, so I believe it should be shut down and never to be open again forever. If you're ever thinking of going to Niagara Falls, don't do it ever. Okay, Justin, I'm going to introduce you real quick to what's called a period to break up this fucking run-on sentence. That was very hard to read in one breath. I'm glad I, ha I had to take several breaths during this entire thing. Justin, Mr. One Review fucking Justin. Pointless and dumb. Bro, what did you... What I want to know what people's legitimate expectations are before they go to these places. What do you expect to happen, dude? You are going to Niagara Falls. You look at the falls. Oh, they're very pretty. And then you go do other things in the falls if you want. But you are reviewing Niagara Falls. It's a waterfall, bro. You wanted to do tricks? <laughs> False. Big water and gravity. He hated it, so it should be shut down. Justin absolutely hated this place. Therefore, I do agree it should be shut down. Justin was dumped for sure. I expect to win a million dollars. His wife dragged him and he didn't want to go. I feel more bad for his wife that she has to be married to a miserable sack of shit like this guy. You know? If he even is married. God damn it, my nose. Holy fuck, it's disgusting. I'm sorry. To shut down the falls, you'd have to add derp and make it a slope? <laughs> Dude, that'd be great for tobogganing in the wintertime, eh? All right, what do we got here? Insane! You know it's true. Look at the way you fucking... Capital, non-capital, capital. Oh, fuck, I love this. One star. I jumped off the waterfall. It's actually not that bad. It's, it is fun to do. Just don't do it. Nine likes. Bro, who is liking this? This is the stupidest shit I've ever read. And people are liking this, bro. People like these comments. Tor, I'm glad you left the likes in. Holy shit, dude. Nine people like insane? Oh. Oh. Insanity. I just, I didn't even say insanity purposely. <laughs> Emerson, one star. Five, Hackman, look out, bud. This bud's catching up quick. 589 reviews. One star. This might be part of the seven wonders of the world, but it does not even come close to the seven wonders of our solar system. Totally overhyped. Just some water falling down a hill. Oh, <laughs> What the fuck did you expect, Emerson? What did you expect? It is called Niagara Falls. Niagara Falls. Water falling. Dumbass. Again, touch grass, Emerson. Or better yet, touch the water, bro. Start drinking it. You can turn up like Ron. That's what you're sounding like right now. Rebby. <laughs> Rebby. One start. James and Shane Lavoine at the FX Tattoo Shop Niagara Falls trashed the city with garbage and feces, <laughs> never cleaning it up and selling illegal drugs from the location. A shame to this beautiful scenic city. <laughs> okay, so Rebby knows these people personally, eh? This is Rebby. Rebby was probably buying off them. That's my guess. And maybe they upped the price. Docs, bro. We just dox this place. Again, not a review for this place. This sounds like you should be taking this up with FX Tattoo Shop. <laughs> this sounds, sounds like you should be taking this up from FX Tattoo Shop. I'm actually going to right now. Reed. Hundred seventy three reviews, four point four stars. Give me a lowest. Do not recommend going here. Overall, terrible experience. Oh, Jesus Christ. I'm not reading that. I know three people that got tattoos in the shop and they got infected and need antibiotics to heal. <laughs> yeah, you want to save this one? Want to deep dive tattoo shops? Okay, we'll save it. We'll save it, Tori. I agree. We'll save it. Holy shit. Jace, one star. First off, they wouldn't let me go down the falls in a barrel. But no matter, I jumped anyway. When I jumped, I was unaware that the big Pompeii math teacher lived in the falls. So as soon as I fell in, I ran into the math teacher and she chased me with her rake all the way to Lake Erie. What? And once we arrived in Lake Erie, she drowned me in a lake. If I give this place negative one stars, I would. And there wasn't a... What the fuck does... 
All right, Jace. I don't see any likes on this one. Abduraman. One star. Too much water everywhere. <laughs> yep, it's quite literally Niagara Falls, bro. Panchel. One star. Overrated, yet kind of beautiful. Bro, these are gorgeous photos. It looks like he took this on Made of the Mist. One star? One star, bro? Look at these photos. Lishi, have a great night and a great weekend, bud. Thank you so much for being here. Bro, one star? I don't understand. Doug, one star. <laughs> I think he meant to write Niagara. Would never go there. Child dead. Granny in wheelchair. Most of all, my husband is now disabled. The gushing water is so powerful, it pushed all of them of the waterfall. But I fell, but my side ting caught me. Now I am left with a cripple family. This is a disgrace. <laughs> Ten likes, bro. Ten likes. Well, this is the review because it's a stupid review. This pisses me off, bro. It's his only review. And he's going to write more because he's got 10 likes now. Luis, uh, one star. I really love Niagara Falls, Canada side. However, the smell of marijuana is very, really very strong. No matter where you go, you will smell it. We stayed in a very expensive hotel right in front of the falls. But once you come out of the hotel, the smell is really strong no matter where you go. Okay, so Luis, uh, to be fair, I understand. I, I love weed. I smoke a lot of weed. Weed's great. However, I do understand the smell could be, if you're not, if you don't like it, could be a little overwhelming. But I don't think this is necessarily a Niagara Falls problem. I think this is just a problem, you know, that you just have to deal with, you know? <laughs> like, what the fuck? Cohen, one star. I've seen wider. Jesus, bro. That's it. The end. Those were Niagara Falls reviews. If you have any reviews you'd like to share, please put them in my Discord. We go through there, we pick reviews from there, and we formulate fucking shit out of the reviews that you sent. That was a lot of work. That was a lot of reviews. That took a long time to get through. Well, at least we know for next time. We probably don't need as many.